I'd like to discuss semantic matching using UiPath context grounding. Uh, with two scenarios, one for data migration and another for approved responses. So for our data migration, you may need to move information from one system to another, but the source and target systems have different taxonomies that need to be addressed. In this short example, you'll see UiPath automations go to existing patient information, the source, create a single 360 patient record on the fly using context grounding. So UiPath collects data from the source systems to create a 360 view of the patient. Here's a sample. The dynamically created 360 view of the patient is auto uploaded to UiPath context grounding. Auto training now allows questions to be asked on that patient data. Next, UiPath automations are used to create migration questions from the target system. UiPath bots dynamically create these questions with any mandatory answer pick lists. And then context grounding selects the nearest best match from the pick list based on the 360 patient record. Here is an example question with the pick list created from the target system. And as we can see, the correct answer was chosen according to what was in the patient record. Here's another question with the pick list, again, dynamically created from the target system. And again, context grounding has chosen the correct answer based on the information it knows about the patient profile. The target system is then updated with the correctly matched mandatory answer. So this is UiPath Studio for design and testing our processes. Let's see the process in action. Here, we created the patient profile. It now calculates and generates the question and mandatory answers from the target system. Context grounding then selects the correct answer, as we can see. And here we go to the next question. Again, mandatory pick lists have been created. Context generation will then match the correct answer from the pick list. If it's a long form answer and there's no pick list, not a problem. Context grounding will create the correct answer and provide that. So how would you use this data migration approach? In our second scenario, we're looking at approved responses. In highly regulated industries, such as public sector, AI generated answers are seen as a risk. So to mitigate the risk, we're gonna use context grounding to find the best possible match from only approved answers. In this example, we've loaded the Tenancy Act of 2002 into context grounding so it can find answers. However, we also provide a list of approved answers. So now context grounding will generate an answer based on the Tenancy Act, but will provide the user with an answer that is only taken from the approved answer pick list. So let's see this in action. The citizen has asked a question about their hot water. Context grounding has now categorized where that sits within the approved answers. And now we have been returned a list of approved answers just for that category. This is now sent with the prompt and context grounding replies with the approved answer only. So let's see this in action within Studio. And here we've got the question. We've got the categorization. Context grounding is now producing a list of filtered approved answers just for that category. That's gonna be used in the context grounding prompt. And here it is found a matching approved only answer. To learn more, send me a message, contact your UiPath account manager or your UiPath partner.